my name is Alex and today in this new tutorial I'm gonna show you how to remove duplicates items from a drop-down using Wix code so let's get started okay as you can see here I created a page and I have a drop-down here which I change its ID to country drop down. Then I have a repeater and I have a data set. So here, this is the database I'm using, which has the name list. So let's have a look. So in this repeater, I choose an as example cities and countries. So on the first column, I have city, and on the second one, I have country. So I choose for this example, three city for each country. So as you can see, I have three city from Italy, Venice, Rome, and Milan. I have three city for Spain, Valencia, Barcelona, and Madrid. Three city in the UK, Liverpool, Manchester, and London and three cities in the USA, New York, Miami, and Los Angeles. And I've also had some pictures. So as you can see here, I have Italy, Spain, UK, and USA. So, um, what we have to do for this example? So let's go back to the page. And let's add a drop down. If you don't know where the drop down is, and just here on the plus sign, you go to user input, and then you just select the drop down, which is here, this one. You can select the one you want. Okay. So once you have selected, you have to delete all their choice. Okay. You click here, and you delete them all one by one okay so now because I've done already I will show you mine see mine has no choices okay so then what we have to do is to add a repeater so add your repeater you go to add again and then you go to list and grids and you choose the one you want for this example I choose this one once you add the U repeater, you have to connect each element to the database field. For example, here I choose image and I connect to the image field. For this button, I connect the label to the country. And for this text, I connect the city. So as you can see here, we have to open our code. If you don't know, just click here on code and turn on developer tools. Now it's on already for me. So I have the code ready for you, which I need only to paste it here. You just have to copy this code exactly how it is. You need just to uh, just to change the IDs. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, this is the code here. Make it big. Okay. So it's we, we import Wix data from Wix data. Then on the already function, we have to query our that database. In this case, my database name is list, because here it's list. So this one has to match this one. Then period limit 1000, period find, then results. Then you have to write this one, const unique items, get unique items, result items. $W, country drop down options, build options, unique items. 
So here I choose County drop down because his drop down is country drop down. Okay. So make sure you have the same values for yours. If yours is drop down one, here should be drop down one. Then have this function get unique items. Add this other function, build options. That's it. And then the last one, you have to activate the on change event for this drop down, which is here. You click on the plus sign, as you can see here, this plus sign that next to it for each. You click on the plus sign here, and then you write this code inside. Let country value equal to dollar w country drop down value dollar w data set one set filter wix data filter equal to country country value. So let's test it out. Let's test it out. Let, let's see if it works. Okay, now as you can see on my page when it's ready, I have all the countries with all the cities. I have USA, UK, 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 Spain, 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 Italy, 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 and USA. So if I select Spain, you see I have only the Spain cities. If I select UK, I have only the UK ones. And the same goes for USA. Okay, so as you can see here, this drop down has only four values. If we were taking normally from the database, we should have USA three times, UK three times, Spain three times, and Italy three times. So by using this code, you will have one item uh, for. Uh, for each uh, country. In your example can be for hotels, for uh, anything you want. You can build anything with this code. Okay, if you like this uh, tutorial, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Put like to this video if you think it was helpful for you and uh, just comment anything. If you have any any doubt, I'll be happy to help you as much as I can. And uh, I will copy this code on the comments. So please check it out. You will just have to copy and paste it to your site. Okay. So thank you so much. And I, I will uh, upload more videos very soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.